Hi, this is Jared from Shunome, and today I want to talk about making site models. Specifically, I want to talk about how to place an image on a mesh or a slab to take advantage of uh, aerial photography, landscape plans, or some other image. It's pretty obvious when you look at this screen right now what I'm talking about. In this example, I have a landscape plan from the landscape architect, and I want to be able to show it in 3D because there's a lot of information, and it's just nicer to look at that than a um, regular ArchiCAD mesh. So, as you can see from this image, we've got the uh, partially built house, um, but I've placed the landscape plan. Now, typically, I don't have landscape architect drawings, but I do have aerial photography. So I'm going to jump to another project, and we're going to use um, an aerial view as an example. So here's a plan. Here is the model as it is right now. It's not bad. It's, it's my house. It's going to be better once I uh, do some remodeling to it. But anyways, here we are. Let's go back to 2D, um, and let's find our aerial image. So here it is. I pulled it off the county website my house is right smack there in the middle. So let's just drag that into ArchiCAD. Now I've got this image. First step is to rotate it. Let's remember we're rotating it 90 degrees, actually negative 90 degrees. Uh, that's going to come in handy later. And then let's align this with the model. So it's not to scale. So let's scale it up. I'm doing Command K for scale, uh, grabbing something to scale up, and okay, that looks close. Now I know from doing this earlier today uh, that it's actually 210 feet. And in fact, um, if you're doing this, you might as well get it um, when you're scaling your image, make it a happy even number. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm just aligning the image to my model. That's pretty close. Um, there's something off with either the county's lot lines or mine. I think they're off. Okay, so there's our image. But it's not in 3D yet, right? It's just, it's just there in the plan. So the next thing we want to do is let's go ahead and create a morph. And let's make that morph the same exact size as our image. So now if we go to 3D, you can see we have a morph. And let's change the uh, surface of that to glass so we can see through. OK, so there's our morph. Now. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our material. So let's go to surfaces. Sorry, not material. We're going to set up our surface. Let's find some landscape. Uh, landscape grass 3D. Let's go to new. And let's duplicate this and just call it site image. Now, here, let's replace the texture. Go to search. We need to load um, our new image. So here we go, site image, hit open. Um, it's now embedded into our library. We're good. There it is. But we need to scale it up. Let's click Keep Original Proportion. And if we remember from earlier, uh, I said make that an easy number. So we're going to make that 210. So now the image in the surface is now the same size as the image we've placed in our plan, which is the same size as the mesh. The, not the mesh, the morph that we've also placed. Uh, okay, so we've got that. Oh, let's go back and do one other thing. If you remember, we rotated the plan, or we rotated the image in plan, so let's rotate this image too, at negative 90 degrees, so it should be in alignment. Now, let's go back to 3D, and let's select our site mesh, and let's change the surface to site image. Okay, there it is, but you'll notice it's not in alignment, and uh, something is wrong there. So let's 
go to document, creative images, align 3D texture and set origin. Now, one of these corners is the origin for that image, because if you remember, the image and plan is aligned with this mesh. So if we choose that, there we go. And you can see, I picked the right corner. You can see that tree right there. Let's go back to plan real quick. You can see the trees right there. So let's go back to plan, or back to 3D. Um, and now select this mesh. And this is where this is kind of cool. So we select the mesh. Now let's just extend the mesh. And let's extend it out to the edges of that morph that we created. And you'll see the image of the site is going to appear because it's mapped to um, the size of that morph that we had. So now we can go ahead and delete the morph. And there we have it. There is our building in alignment with whatever image it is, whether it's a hand-drawn site plan, whether it's a PDF, whether it's a, like a PDF of a site plan or a PDF of some other document, or it's an aerial photograph. Uh, that's pretty rad. Now something else we can do is if we, uh, you can see the shadows, there's the shadow of the building, that shadow doesn't match the image. So we can go to 3D projection settings, go to more sun, figure out when this uh, aerial was taken and set the images. I've looked at this and I can tell by the, um, the way the trees are, this tree hasn't leafed out yet and there's some other uh, flowering trees that's probably, let's say late April. And then I can tell by the shadows that it's probably, I don't know, early morning or late morning, so almost noon. Um, let's hit OK and see how close I was. Pretty, pretty close. So now you can see that there's my Archicad shadow and it's matching up with the shadows of the image. So I'm going to jump over to another file where I set this all up and uh, just show you some finished renderings because it looks pretty great. Um, let me also review my notes. Oh, there's one other important thing. Let's go to surface settings. We have the site image. Now that we have this all set up, we need to go to Cine Render settings. And this is very important. Go to Match set Settings, Update Cine Render settings from internal. If we don't do that, when we go to um, Render, it won't show the image. OK, so now we've done that. So those are matched. Let's see. Am I forgetting anything else? We set the Cine Render to match the internal. We aligned in plan. We attach it to the surface. I think we're good. OK, so let's jump over to the finished image. So here, same thing, right? Um, now let's look at some, some 3D images. So that's pretty cool. You can see um, the shadows are lining up. There's the site there. We can go to this aerial. Get the same thing. There's the 3D building. Here's all my neighbor's houses, just 2D uh, below. So it's really quick and it makes for some amazing images. Um, let me know if you have any questions and have a good day.